Hi, everybody. How are you? We are going to be doing daily question number three. It says, consider the function f of x equals 1 minus k x squared plus x plus k, where x is an element of all reals. Find the value of k for which f of x has two equal roots. Okay, so if the problem is at all talking about the number of roots or the number of times that a line crosses a quadratic, what type of a problem is this going to be? A discriminant problem. Fantastic. So let's quickly review what we should know about discriminants, okay? If you have a parabola that looks like this, what would the discriminant be? It's going to be greater than zero. It's going to be a nice whole number, okay? So we'll just say the discriminant is positive. What if you've got something like this? What's the discriminant going to look like? You just have, sorry, it's just one, one root there, sorry. The discriminant is equal to zero. Good job. What about if you have something that looks like this? What would the discriminant look like? Oh, yeah, you're right. It's going to be negative. So <laughs> did you give me a... A hook hand? <laughs> okay, so, or we can just think of it about it like negative, okay? Okay, what is the discriminant? The discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c, okay? And when you're considering whether it's positive, equal to 0, or less than 0, you would set up a little equation or inequality, something like this, okay? So in this problem, it says find the value of k for which it has two equal real roots. Two equal real roots is a very creepy way of saying that it has how many roots? One repeated root, right? One repeated root. Creepy. Okay. So <laughs> now we're going to take this discriminant b squared minus 4ac and let's set up our little equation or inequality. What should this guy be equal to if it has one root? Zero. Good job. Now let's determine what those A's, B's, and C's are going to be. Let's look at the original quadratic up here. Make sure it's in standard form. Who's A? 1 minus K. Who's B? 1. And who's K? I mean, who's C? Dang. I gave you the answer. Okay. So now let's substitute our known values of A, B, and C into our discriminant. We're going to have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus K times K. All right, so this is like funky notation in here, but go ahead and algebraically expand that. <coughs> And you should get 1 minus 4k plus 4k squared equals 0. I don't know about you, but it's like kind of easier to factor it if I just write it in standard form. Yeah, does that make it like a little more obvious if it's factorable or not? Huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah, so go ahead and try to factor that. Go ahead and try to factor that. We're looking for the factors of A times C that add up to negative 4, right? So that's going to be okay. You starting to get k equals one half? Yeah. All right. Good. Little tiny review. Little baby review. Number four, it says consider 
oh, when it's written like this. Okay, sometimes if it's written vertically like this, we're talking about a vector transformation, right? But this problem is definitely not talking about vectors or transformations, right? What is this guy talking about? NCR. NCR, very good. NCR, right? This is an alternative way to write NCR, right? So 11A. So if we wrote this as NCR, what would it look like? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and look on our formula booklet. What is the formula for N choose R? Again, I have forgot to tell you that these are no calculator questions. That's why we are looking at the formula. No calculator questions. All right, so go ahead and locate it in your formula booklet. Huh? You'll see. It's like a, you got to think about it, right? Okay. Please tell me the formula when you see it. What is the formula for, I think it's listed like this in your formula booklet. What is it? Remember when you guys didn't know what factorials were and you thought I was just super excited about writing it? All right, guys. So we're trying to put 11 choose A into the formula because this is the exact formula once it's been expanded, right? And then we're trying to solve for what? What are we trying to solve for? Find the value of A, right? Okay. So let's try to get one side equal to one thing, another side equal to another, okay? So I've got 11 choose A. If I substituted that into the formula, this is the N and this is the R, right? So we're going to have 11 factorial up top. And then what's going to be in the bottom? R factorial goes here. Who corresponds to R? A. A. And then what's going to go in the parentheses here? What's going to go in the parentheses there? <laughs> Mm hmm 11 minus R. Very good. So that's going to be 11 minus A, right? Ooh, okay. So, yes, look for the equivalence in the original problem. Look for the equivalence, right? In the original problem, we are given 11 factorial. We've got that up top. We're given A factorial. We've got that in our expanded version. And then we're given 9 factorial. So we know that 11 minus a factorial is equal to 9 factorial, right? So therefore, 11 minus a must equal what? Very good. The a kind of looks like a 9. Lo siento. So then we're going to do what? What does a have to equal? Very good. Excellent. The end. Everybody say bye. Bye. bye.